Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're coming to you live from Congregation Bris Shalom, where we get together every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock uh, to study the laws of Shabbat and their connection with our Musar traits. Uh, but before we begin that class, we wanted to share with all our friends on Facebook a little thought on the 19th day of the Omer and uh, the corresponding way of maximizing pleasure in our lives. So way number 19, our sages tell us, tell us in chapter 6, Mishnah 6 in Ethics of Our Fathers, 48 different ways to maximize life. And the 19th way is limited sleep. You see, there's a danger. Sleep is a great thing. Everybody loves to sleep. The problem is, is that if sleep isn't in balance, if sleep isn't the right amount, if it's too much, what happens is we can sleep away our lives. And that is the danger that our sages tell us with all of these different pleasures that we have, and we've listed three of them already in our, in our uh, progress through the Omer, uh, if that pleasure is not balanced, uh, it, has devastate, it can have a devastating effect on us um, and we lose awareness, we lose, uh, we lose really the, the maximization of life. Too much sleep can dull your mind. There has to be a balance. Okay? The challenge of awareness is the challenge of life. It's many people, you can see this on many of these, uh, these programs that they have on, on television where they ask people about things that either never happened or things that, you know, they do these like man in the street interviews and people, it's like they're zombies going through life. They're not, they're not, they're not conscious. They're not living in a sense of, they're, they're just sleeping through life. And that's one of the, uh, one of the, the uh, principles that our sages tell us. Now, um, being tired is also a habit and it's something that we can break. We can break that habit. Uh, our sages tell us that sleep is a 60th of death. And that means that uh, there is a certain element of, you can't be productive while you sleep. But if a person's always sleepy, then it's also, in a sense, an element of death because a person who's dead has no more productivity. A person who's dead has no more, uh, no more uh, life that they're, that they're uh, nurturing. Um, and that, that is a very, very... Uh, devastating thing. I remember that my rabbi, my rabbi, I asked, my rabbi sleeps very few hours a night, very, very few, close, like, like between two and three hours a night. And I asked him, Rebbe, when are you going to sleep? He says, when I die, I'll have a lot of time to sleep, <laughs> you know. But right now, this is, this is the world known as the olama siyah, this is the world of doing. And if we take the time in our life of doing, to just sleep through it, then we're not going to be able to be productive and accomplish what we need to accomplish. So again, like everything, like every pleasure, there must be a balance. And the pleasure of sleep needs to also be a balance on both sides. A person can't have too much sleep, but also it can be devastating and damaging if a person doesn't have enough sleep. So with that, we're going to sign off. Thank you, my dear friends, for joining us on Facebook. Please like and share. And we hope you'll join us again tomorrow for another way in our journey of maximizing life and reaping hopefully the greatest rewards and pleasure in this life we're living in. Thank you and have a wonderful day.